All right, so in this problem, they ask us to compare four mixes for apple juice. And in each mix, you notice that there's a concentrate and an amount of water. The basic idea is that when you're making these drinks, you have a, some kind of pitcher, right? This is my, let's say, my drink pitcher. And I pour in some water, right? And I fill it up. And then I throw in some concentrate of this apple, apple juice. Right, that's another liquid in there, and there's a ratio between the concentrate, right, and the water. And the idea is, the more concentrate you add, the sweeter the juice gets. Or in this case, they ask us which is the most apple-y. In other words, it'll taste most sweet in terms of this apple flavor. Right, that's what the concentrate is. So you're comparing ratios of concentrate and water to figure out which of these. Which, which of these actual mixes will make the sweetest juice, W, X, Y, or Z. So I guess my, my first strategy here is to reduce ratios if it's possible. So 5 to 8 can't be touched, right, because 5 and 8 have no common factors other than 1, but 3 and 6 can be reduced, and that can be reduced to what? Well, 1 to 2. That's just easier to think about. Mix Y right, can be reduced, it's 6 to 9 here, divide both by 3, and we get 2 to 3. And we can't touch mix Z, that's, that's 3 to 5. So if we think about this in, in terms of the, the highest concentrate to water ratio, I think we'll see in a moment that mix Y is the most apple-y. And here's, here's the basic reasoning. First, I like to compare mix W to mix X. Right? Now, mix W is 5 to 8, and mix X is 1 to 2. If I kind of scale mix X up to match mix W, in other words, I'm going to use the same number of cups of cold water, right? I would make four batches of mix X. So instead of doubling the batch, if I doubled it, I would get 2 to 4. Right? If I tripled it, I would get 3 to 6. One more step, and I get 4 to 8. What does that tell me? Well, it tells me if I use eight cups of water, I would have four cups of concentrate. Now, we have to assume that all the concentrates have the same power, right? It's not that one concentrate is sweeter than the other. Because when we do that, we can say, see that mix W really has a higher ratio of concentrate to water. In other words, it's sweeter. So I'm going to put a greater sign here. Mix at W is greater than mix X. So mix X is out. Now, what am I going to do? Well, let me compare, right, mix Y and mix Z. That might help me go a little bit further here. So mix Y, right, that's a 2 to 3 ratio of concentrate to water. Mix Z is a 3 to 5 ratio of concentrate to water. Well, 3 cups of cold water and 5 cups of cold water meet at a batch of 15 cups of cold water. So let me scale up mix Z by 3. So I'll have a 9 to 15 ratio, almost as if I'm making three batches of mix Z. And I'll make five batches of mix Y. So I'll use 10 cups of concentrate for 15 cups of water. So in this case, right, with 10 cups of concentrate for 15 cups of water, that's greater than 9 to 15. So mix Y is sweeter than mix Z. All right? And so that means mix Z is out. Now it's just a case of comparing mix W with mix Y. And how do I do this? Well, let me just clear this off. And one second. So what I think about is um, the fact that mix W, of course, like this again, mix W is 5 to 8. And mix Y is 6 to 9. But we reduced that already, excuse me, 2 to 3. So I'm going to keep scaling these up until I have the same number of cups of, of concentrate, not water. Just because, it doesn't matter, I could have done, done water, but 3 and 8 are the cups of water, right? And they meet together at 24, but 5 and 2 meet together at 10. So that might be a little bit easier to think about. Um, it's just a smaller number to think of. So I'm going to double mix W and I get 10 to 16. I'm going to make five batches of mix Y, and I get 10 to 15. Now, what does this mean? 
Well, this means, and I like this comparison because it tells me that here's the number of concentrate, right? And here's the amount of water. So in mix Y, when I make five batches of it, when I have 10 cups of concentrate, I have less water. And here, with the mix W, I have 10 cups of concentrate, and I have more water to dilute it. So mix Y is sweeter. Right? If you think about what's happening here, we have a, some kind of container, and we fill it with concentrate. Let's say I fill it with 10 cups of concentrate. Right? Here's the concentrate filling up the container. Well, if I fill it with water, 15 cups of water, maybe I'll have this much water to dilute it. Right? Okay, and I mix it up. But if I had more water, let's say up here, 16 cups or something, this is not proportional, by the way, sorry. Um, the whole drink will be less sweet. The more water I add, the less sweet the mix becomes. Um, and that's one way to compare it. But if I don't like any of that, right, I could reverse this, this process. I could say, okay, mix W, here's another way of comparing it, to mix Y, I might compare the cups of water, as I was doing before. So mix W is 5 to 8, mix Y is 2 to 3. This time, I'm going to find when the cups of water are the same. So I'm going to make three batches of mix W, that gives me 15 to 24, and I'm going to make eight batches of mix Y, that gives me 16 to 24. In this case, mix Y, again, is still the greater. It's the sweeter of the two because it has more concentrate than mix W for that amount of water. So it's sweeter. And that answers part A for us. Mix Y will be the most appley. Suppose you make a single batch of each mix. What fraction of each batch is concentrate? Okay, so here, this idea is, is, I like this question because it just really, I think, hones in on our intuition about ratios and fractions. So with mix W, we have five cups of concentrate to eight cups of water. If we pour them together into the, to the container, that gives us 18 cups altogether. Oh, excuse me, 13 cups altogether. So the fraction of concentrate would be five out of 13 and the fraction of water would be 8 out of 13 cups, right? This is our water, and this is our concentrate, and that's for mix W. So that's, that's basically how this question works. We're just going to kind of set up these fractions each time. There's concentrate and water. So for mix X, what's that going to be? Well, here's mix X. Mix X, right? There's 3 cups of concentrate for every 6 cups of water. Add them together, we get 9 cups and it's three-ninths of concentrate, or one-third of concentrate, and six-ninths, right, or two-thirds of the mix will be water, and that's mix X. What about mix Y, our sweetest mix? Well, mix Y is a ratio of two to three, right, we reduce that six to nine right away, and we add them up, we get five, so two-fifths is equal to concentrate which is, of course, greater than one-third and greater than five-thirteenths, and it's three-fifths of water. And then mix Z, right, three to five, we add those up, we get eight cups, so we have three out of eight, right, three-eighths of concentrate and five-eighths of water. So this idea for the fractions, we're finding a part-to-whole ratio, where we add up each batch, and then we find out the amount of concentrate out of the total cups and the amount of water out of the total cups. And then they want us to rewrite our answers as percents. Okay, so let's go, let's start with, I guess, mix Y, that'll be the easiest. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm sorry, let me clear this off. Okay, so mix Y, I'm just gonna write the letter Y. Right, we said that it was two, right, two fifths, because it was originally, we reduced this to two thirds. It was two fifths concentrate. So what's that as a percent? Well, it's going to equal something out of 100. This is how I like to solve for percents by setting up proportions. So here, to solve for x, I would multiply 100 by 2 fifths, right? That would get rid of the 100 on this side. And what that means is that x would equal 100 times 2, which is 200, divided by 5, which is 40. So x equals 40, and that means this is a 40% batch of concentrate. Now, we don't have to do the same thing for water, right? Because water will be what's left. So if it's 40% concentrate, the remaining 60% are water. 
And that, that saves us some calculations. What about mix Z? Well, that was a three to three out of eight, right, concentrate. What will that be out of 100? This won't be as neat, of course. Eighths are not as nice as, as fifths. But same strategy, you multiply by 100. 100 times 3 is 300. And what is 300 divided by 8? 37 and a half. So it's 37 and a half percent in mix Z, which is, oops, which is lower, right? Which is lower than mix Y. So 37 and a half percent. 37, I can't put, you probably can't read that. 37 and a half percent. And how much water will it be? Well, you subtract 37 and a half percent from 100. 100 minus 30 is 70, minus 7 is 63, minus 0.5 is 62.5 percent cold water. And you can see this, this confirms that mix Y is sweeter than mix Z. There's a higher percentage of concentrate. What about mix X? Well, again, X, when we reduce that, first of all, is 1 to 2, which makes it a fraction of 1 to 3. And what's that as a percent? You might know this already, but let's do the math. Multiply by 100 times 1 divided by 3. That's, one, that's 100 divided by 3 is 33 and a third percent, right? So 33 and a third percent. And then the remaining, the remaining of cold water, of course, is 66 and two-thirds percent, or 0.6 repeating. And that's mix X. One more to go, mix W as a percent. Right, it's 5 out of 13 for the concentrate. What will that be out of 100? That's what a percent is out of 100. Multiply 100 by 5, we get 500. And then we divide 500, divide it by 13. That gives us 38 point four six one five three eight and then 5%, I'm going to round this to about 38%, right, about, x is about 38%, right? This means that the, the cups of cold water, of course, have to equal what? Well, there's 100% in total. We've already taken up 38%. What's the remaining amount? Well, it's 62%, right? Because 60 and 30 is 90, 2 and 8 is 100. Okay, so we found the most sweet juice, we found the fractions and the percents. And then one more question, and we're almost there. D, suppose you make only one cup of mixed W. So this is our mixed W right here, right? How much water and how much concentrate do you need? Well, we've already answered that question, right? In fact, it's kind of already written here in this fraction, 5 thirteenths. When we add up five cups of concentrate and eight cups of cold water, to get a hole here of 13, what does that mean? Well, that means that if you cut all of this down to one cup, 5 thirteenths of that cup would be concentrate. You can think of it this way. And 8 thirteenths would be water, right? So, so it's already written in a sense in this fraction. I mean, we meant it's 5 cups out of 13 cups. But imagine that if you scale that down, right, that also could represent 5 thirteenths of a cup. And if we add up these two together, we do get one cup, right? One cup of water. Okay, so um, that is this question. Hope you enjoyed.